All right, so in this video, we are going to take the building that we created and put it onto the actual site file. So we're gonna do this from the site file itself. So we'll open that up. And if it's your first time opening up, you'll have to upgrade it to uh, the latest version of Revit. Um, but here we have a site file, basically it's just brown earth. We got two roads in there um, and there's a building pad here. And this probably came in um, as a uh, hidden line version, probably looked like this. Um, I tend to like to work in at least shaded, if not realistic, if I can, if it doesn't slow you down. Um, so this is the topography as it, as it comes in. And if you look at it from the side, we notice that it's basically full of, well, earth. Uh, if I increase the detail here, um, all of this is off the ground. And when we pull the building in, it's going to end up below here. So uh, without further ado, let's look back at our plan here and we're going to insert the insert tab um, we're going to link Revit over here because it's a Revit file we want to link I'm going to pull in the building navigate to wherever your building file is open it thinks for a second and nothing shows up anyway what's going on wait a minute oh what's that down there Ah, so that's the problem. Well, see, this is a topography file, and this topography is coming in right now at 778 feet above sea level. Your building was designed at zero <laughs> above sea level. So because of that, you have this height differential. Um, but what we can do is look at the elevations. If you look at it from the side, you have bottom of the footing, the foundation footing, top of footing, ground floor, um, and I have, let's see what else is on here. Oh, I don't see that. So I need to go to an elevation view. Let's go from the north side elevation view. And I have, scroll in, scroll in, bottom of footing. Okay, so I can use bottom of footing. Basically, I'm going to line those two things together so the building comes up to that level. And I'll bring those in. So to do that, I am in the Modify tab, and I'm going to use the Align tool. I'm not going to try to click and drag and place. That's annoying. Um, so with the Align tool, you click the thing that you want to align to, so the thing that's not going to move first, and then you click the thing that is going to move. So first things first, the bottom of footing level in the site plan is not going to move. Scroll back out. Scroll back into the building. Uh, Zoom, zoom, bottom of footing. Click that, and it disappears because it should have moved upwards. And there it is. Let's see it in 3D view. Scoot this over. Ta-da! There it is. So there's our building on the actual building pad. And it comes in pretty close, but if you notice, if you look closely, it's not quite lined up. Um, so I'm going to go to the floor plan where I'm looking, bird's eye view, looking down on it, um, and look at this and say, okay, I'll use my align tool again to say outside of building with the outside of the pad, and let's look at the backside. And if you notice, ah, the pad isn't quite the same size as the building. And if that bothers you and you want to center it, you can just grab the actual building and place it and try to get it right in the middle there if at all possible. That looks pretty good. Um, so when you're in the site file, the building is an object, basically. You can't edit the building while you're in the site because you're in the site. It's for all the stuff on the exterior and parking lots and sidewalks and driveways, um, landscaping, that kind of stuff happens on the site plan. Um, your building file will take care of the actual building. Um, and as you open up both of these, they'll stay linked. So as you update the building, it will update this file as well every time you load it. Um, now, one thing that bothers me is I want to turn this topography into grass because I don't like the way the earth looks. Um, so I select it, and over here I can change the material. Right now it's earth. For this site, I'm going to make it grass instead. And it kind of comes in as a kind of darkish green, but that's good enough for me. I'll take it. Um, great, so there is pulling the building in. We went to insert, link Revit, grabbed the building. It came in way too low. We aligned the two to bring it up to the right level. Um, and we were all set.